you can be a Calvinist and a firm Molinism with a whole other discussion, but what I would hold to is a view of God's omniscience that just is broken down into logical moments. Um, you mentioned in your first presentation about uh, the ripple effect and God is all wise. What is the balance between God's knowledge and God's decree? Does God's decree come first because he knows or does God know something because he decrees it? Say that last part again. Does God know um, something because he decrees it or does he decree it because he knows it? Uh, God is knowledge, so there's no sequence in God's thoughts. He just knows it intuitively. He doesn't have to reason through a syllogism like all men are mortal. Socrates is a man, therefore Socrates is mortal. So now you're getting into infrasuperlapsarianism, which is better answered by Leighton. So go ahead, Leighton. You want to you take over here? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, so, it, so there may be different views up here, just uh, for not fair warning, but just Eric, for what it's worth. Here. Thank you. There may be different views represented up here. Uh, so I would take a Molinist view, and, and, and these guys are free to speak whatever view they take to, but uh, but so the way you word the question, does God decree it because he knows it? Well, if he knows it, it's because it's going to happen, so the decree would almost be superfluous. So I think the question is, what is God decreeing? And uh, another question would be, is there is there a type of counterfactual middle knowledge to whether or not he has a choice to create a different possible world than the one he did? So if you're going to say it's already foreknown, then that's already the world that God's going to create. So you would, so depending on how you were trying to word the question, uh, something that's along those lines is, does God have counterfactual middle knowledge? I do. You can be a Calvinist and a firm Molinism with a whole other discussion, but what I would hold to is a view of God's omniscience that just is broken down into logical moments. So it's not just that God knows what we will do, but knows that what we would have done had a different set of circumstances occurred. And I think God knows those things. Which one did he create? You, you'd have differing views, but as far as what you're asking concerning omniscience and decree, God has a range of options to choose from, I would say, and he chose to create this one.